In our morning rounds, a massive new study on pregnancy and autism. Autism affects one in 68 children in the United States. The Journal of the American Medical Association reports on a possible link between developing diabetes during pregnancy and autism in kids. Our Dr. Tara Narula is with us. Tara, good morning. Good morning, Nora. This sounds alarming. What does this study say? Right, so first of all, this is an observational study, so we can't draw conclusions. We can just show association. But what researchers did is looked at the health records of 300,000 children that were born at a single health system in California. California, followed them for an average of five years and then looked back at the health of the mother and they divided moms into three categories no diabetes pre-existing type 2 diabetes before pregnancy or gestational diabetes what they found is women who developed gestational diabetes before 26 weeks were at a 42 percent increased risk of having a child with autism spectrum disorder increase wow that's right What's, what? a, what's yeah. a possible connection? Right, so that's what everybody wants to know. We mm -hmm. know that gestational diabetes has been associated with other long-term issues down the road for kids like obesity and metabolic disorders, but we didn't know does it affect the brain. Mm -hmm. What this study suggests is that possibly there's a critical window of time during which if the brain is exposed to high levels of blood sugar, mm -hmm. it could affect oxygenation to the fetus, the cord or placental blood flow, cause inflammation, mm -hmm. or affect something we call epigenetics, which is where certain genes are turned on or off. What is gestational diabetes? So gestational Gestational diabetes is fairly common, about 9% of women are diagnosed with it, and basically it's elevated blood sugar that develops during pregnancy, usually it develops late during pregnancy, and it's usually screened for around 24 to 28 weeks. Just from gaining a lot of weight during pregnancy? No, it's not really always really? associated with weight gain, no, not at all. Um, but the important thing is that what this research does mm -hmm. really add to the body of evidence that's saying that autism and the brain changes that occur happen early on, probably, in development before the baby's ever born. So what's the message if you're pregnant? or going to get pregnant. So the big message is not for women to panic because of this, but really to use this as an opportunity to get their health in as tight control as possible. Exercise, keep their weight in check, eat a healthy diet, stop smoking, get comprehensive prenatal care and monitoring. And we really need future research to tell us if screening for or treating early gestational diabetes or screening for kids early who had moms with gestational diabetes will translate into any benefit. We just, we don't know that yet. Yeah, Dr. Taryn Rula, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you.